Hello everyone. Welcome to SolidWorks Weldman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be discussing how to add gusset plate to Weldman structure. I am going to use this chair frame to demonstrate the tool. Watch my other video to see how this is built. There are 8 plates, 8 brackets that are welded onto this chair frame for cushion. You can see the dimensions from here. It is uh, triangular brackets 30 by 30. There is a small room for the weld bead at the corner and with the hole of 3.5 millimeter radius to fit the screw. Let's go ahead and get started. You can find gusset plate command in weldman command manager. Click on weldman tab then select gusset, gusset command. When you click on the gusset command, the gusset property manager is launched. Using this property manager, you can add three-sided, four-sided and five-sided plates. And also you can change the thickness using this box and you can relocate the profile to start of the joint, end of the joint or to the middle. And also you can select the side of the thickness. You can add the thickness internally, externally or you can add the thickness at the center. To create a gusset plate, we need to select two adjoint surfaces of on two intersecting structural members. So I'm going to select these two surfaces from these two members. I will select this surface and this surface. When you select the two surfaces, you can see the preview of the gusset plate is appeared. Now let's change the thickness. I'm going to use two millimeter thickness and use this push pin to keep this property manager visible and now you can see relocate this bracket using these three button when you click on this you can locate the profile at the start point and when you click middle it will be at middle and when you click this it will be at the end point if you want to offset this bracket from the point that you have selected you can click on this button and enter the value you can enter any value then the bracket would be you can you can enter a value within this range with the structural member size and then you can offset from that amount I'm going to use first option locate at the start point and when we select locate at the start point we can select use this option to select the side of the extrusion side of thickness side when you click here you can see the thickness is middle of this edge and when you click here it will be external outside and when you click here it would be inside for this one we need like this so the first bracket is created using gusset plate command. We need one more thing to add. We will add some room for the weld bead at the corner. We can use this chamfer command to do that. When you enter this chamfer command, you have to enter these dimensions. I will enter 5 mm and I will enter 5 mm. For the gusset plate, usually we don't use any sketch using these parameters we can change the size of the sketch of the plate so using this d1 and d2 now we have changed this we have added the value for the chamfer and now let's change the size of these two dimensions so i will make it 30 based on this drawing overall length from this corner to this point is 30 millimeter and make this one 30 millimeter 
we can enter all right now this first gusset plate is created preview looks good and click ok and now exit the command and let's create a hole using hole feature go to feature command manager and select hole wizard let's select the the hole wizard property manager is launched and from this type tab select the type it is a simple hole and from the standard let's select nsi metric and the drill size the type is drill size let's have drill size and the diameter is 3.5 millimeter and the end condition through all the rest can stay the same now next go to position tab and uh, it is asking you to select a surface or select the sketch so i will select this surface you can see the preview of the hole place it somewhere in the middle and next go to the dimension let's add the dimension from this point to this corner which is based on this dimension 10 millimeter click enter and again click on this point and click on this point make it 10 millimeter the hole is positioned correctly and go to type again all looks good and click ok hole is created press ctrl 7 we have created the first bracket and now i am going to use mirror command to create other four instances at the other four corners other three corners and uh, click on mirror command under feature command manager and for the mirror flash to mirror select i will select uh, right plane first to create this instances instance and we have three options after that we can select feature to mirror or we can select faces to mirror or we can select bodies to mirror when you look at this uh, gusset plate it is created as a separate body you can see it from the cut list it is a separate body when you are in the gusset plate command manager you have an option to merge that part with the structural member or not by default it is not merged so that we can we can have a separate part in the cut list since this is a separate body let's select into this box and click on gusset oops select gusset now this body is selected selected and the preview looks good and the rest is can stay the same and click ok here we go you have the other side let's do the same thing to the other two as well select mirror command and now let's select the front plane Oops. clear section go to bodies and select this bracket and this bracket preview looks good click ok press ctrl 7 the four gus four brackets are created for the cushion using gusset plate command let's do the same thing to the backrest frame as well under weltman command manager click on gusset then gusset plate com property manager is launched and i will select these two surfaces preview looks good thickness is 2 mm the same same value that we entered before and the chamfer is already there 5 mm 5 mm and the distance the dimensions is 30 and 30 and all looks good and now click ok the gusset plate is created let's 
fill the hole using hole wizard you can you can have that hole in the weldman command manager as well click on hole and select the hole type under this property manager hole type is hole simple hole and uh, standard ansi metric type drill size and the size 3.5 mm and condition through all and now select the position tab select this surface and the preview appears click on somewhere in the middle next go to the dimension add dimension value from this point to this point 10 mm press enter and from this point oops from the center to this edge again 10 mm click enter preview looks good and click ok the hole is created press ctrl 7 now we have created one bracket for the backrest cushion let's use the mirror command to create other three instances go to features select mirror and i will select right plane select right plane bodies to mirror select this jump gusset plate and preview looks good click ok and let's create the other two instances before that we have to create a mirror plane i will use reference geometry plane reference plane and under the first reference select this surface and under the second reference select this surface the, the plane is fully defined and the plane is created at the middle of these two selected surfaces and click ok now we have got the plane mirror plane and click mirror the plane is already selected under bodies to mirror select this and select this part and click ok press ctrl 7 and save the part we have added all the necessary brackets for the question using cassette plate command that's all for today i hope you have understood how to add brackets to weltman frame using gusset plate command in my next tutorial i'm going to complete this chair assembly adding cushions and other accessories until then bye everyone please like the video if you have any requests add them to comment field Subscribe the channel to get new videos. Thank you for watching.